Hello everyone, welcome to Soul Horizons Tarot. This is part two for the sign of Squ Scorpio, a general reading for the sign of Scorpio. One second. Get some water. All right, so yeah, this is a general reading, so it will not apply or resonate for everyone. If part, I highly suggest you go back and watch part one first, because we go over all of these cards um, in in somewhat depth uh, by themselves. And now we're going to do the clarifying cards. So I'm not going to spend as much time on the individual energy. Um, so yeah, part one first, and then part two. Otherwise, I guess it'll come out, but it just won't be. Um, I think you could probably, never mind. I'm going to hush and get started. Uh, details in the box below showing my, uh, where you can reach me to get a private reading, social media, uh, Facebook. That's what I use, uh, right now. Um, still gr trying to grow my channel. So hopefully we'll add to that later on. I don't, I don't say hopefully I'm not big into the social medias um so anyway yeah we're, we're gonna hop into this with the overall energy so okay wow scorpio aries with that tower i'm gonna go ahead and get one more please try not to laugh at me these this deck is huge and i struggle to shuffle with my tiny hands This will probably make my hands look like little toddler hands. Nah. Nah. All right, so one more with the tower. Ooh, bent that one, yuck. One more with the tower and the Ten of Cups for the sign of Scorpio. One more with the Tower and the Ten of Cups for the overall energy for the sign of Scorpio. I am not taking all of those. The world on the bottom now. That came up. Why are you here? Where's my other card? Oh my goodness, did I pick it up, put it in? It was the Empress. Oh, there you are. Cool. I know what I'm doing, I promise. This is just, these cards are massive. I love them, but they're massive. One more with the Tower and the Ten of Cups for the sign of Scorpio. Overall energy, please. And they're really thick. Okay. One. Two. Three. The Hermit. Here we go, energy. King of Pentacles. Mm. Okay, so some of you want to expand on a business. Maybe you already have a business and you're expanding in a different direction. Um, let's see. Oh, I'm going to actually see a couple of these because the tower can represent an ending. Now... The tower can also be something shocking or unexpected that could have to do with the Ten of Cups, which is your personal um, sense of emotional fulfillment, happiness, and completion. Uh, it can represent a family. With the tower, let me see what the tower is first. Clarify this tower for the overall energy for Scorpio. Okay. Oh. Okay. So for some of you, this could be an unexpected love, love offer. Or it could have been the start of an emotional offer. Um, it could have been a creative thing, a creative endeavor, a potential for a different, a new, a new start in something that would have brought you that Ten of Cups, that happiness. Again, it could have been um, a love offer. 
that started and then abruptly ended. Um, unexpected love offer. And if it was an unexpected love offer, there's a potential for it to lead to the Ten of Cups. You start with Ace, which is a potential. It's a gift. It's um, it's kind of like a, a gift from the universe, basically. Not that it was didn't come from a person. It's just the hand that's floating there is like it's supposed to represent God or an angel. There are religious contexts in tarot. Um, if you don't believe in God, that that's fine. You can say universe, source, spirit, I, whatever. Uh, just a lucky break, I guess. Um, but yeah, for some of you, this could lead to the Ten of Cups. It has that potential because aces are not promised. They are potential. For others of you, this talks about the ending of something, an abrupt ending um, of something that could have led to that Ten of Cups. The Ten of Cups is still your main focus. You still want this Ten of Cups, whether that's something that would make you feel like you were emotionally complete, or a family, happiness, joy. Let's see what this King of Pentacles is. Well, why the King of Pentacles? This could have been something to do with business. Uh, maybe a father. Whether you're a father, just a father, a father of your children, doesn't necessarily have to be a man. It can be a female. Gender is irrelevant. Look at that. Queen of Wands. Okay, this could have been a commitment to a Queen of Wands. You have that in what's coming towards you. Uh, so that could be, again, you have Aries, Scorpio, uh, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, specifically Taurus, and then Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Signs and or gender are not like set in stone here. This could have been It kind of feels like a connection, if I'm being honest. A, a connection that was supposed to be solid. An established commitment. Now, it could have been just a, um, a connection. It doesn't necessarily have to mean like a love connection, but we do have the Ace of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So there was an emotional, at the least, there was an emotional connection here. Um, now you are showing up as the King of Cups. We have the Queen of Cups, so I do feel like this is you being as the King of Pentacles. So you could have a family with this Queen of Wands. Or you could have had at least the hope of that, since the Ten of Cups is here. At some point, I feel there was a connection here um, that was at least supposed to end with a family marriage. The... White House, picket fence, kind of cliche. Um, with the tower there, I do feel like something unexpected happened. It ended. The foundations crumbled. But for, for others of you, it could mean that um, this came out of the blue. And now there is a connection between you and another person, male or female. Signs not as important. If I don't say the sign of the person you're dealing with, no, no big deal. If it's the Queen of Wands, she would be very, you would be very attracted to them, he, her or him. Uh, very fun, very spontaneous, very, uh, you know, ambitious, um, confident, fiery. Uh, likes likes to go on adventures and is fun to be around. Probably funny, um, even if like nobody else found them funny, you would find them funny. That's just the archetype of the card. Even if they are a an air sign or a water sign. Okay, so let's move on. That's the overall energy here. 
if you do not have a commitment with this person, this person that you are very physically attracted to, at the least, there is emotional as there too. We have the Ace and the Ten of Cups. There was an emotional connection as well, at least for somebody. Um, this is what you want or it's already going on, or it ended. Keep in mind, this is a general read, so I can't, oh, I guess I should flip this over first. Okay. So yeah, for some of you, this could definitely involve travel, or you have left a situation. Somebody left you, you left them, you left a situation, not necessarily a person. This could have been a um, emotionally turbulent situation that, that Oops. Um, that was bringing you stress and anxiety. We do have the Nine of Swords back here. So, and this is your past. So it was something that was just very mentally draining, gave you a lot of anxiety, a lot of worries, just nonstop, nonstop, nonstop um, stress. And you decided to walk away from this with the Six of Swords. That is leaving something behind. And oh, we have death flip over. I'm not going to keep it because I haven't asked, but that is a Scorpio energy. So definitely something could have ended here for you. And I said, you're showing up here with your, your energy, the King of Cups, which is a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, but specifically Scorpio because it is a fixed sign. One more with the Six of Swords and the King of Cups, please. Have the Ten of Pentacles just come out. One more with the Six of Swords and King of Cups. All right, I'm going to take that as one. It's a lot. I have to shuffle these a little slower because they are so big. I'm trying to do it fast is just a tragedy. And three. It's a lot going on. Okay, we're moving in towards the Seven of Swords. Five of Cups, the Magician. Judgment, the Emperor, which is the counterpart to the Empress here. Uh, we have Aries, we have Scorpio, we have Gemini, Virgo. Uh, some people do consider the Magician Aries as well, since it is the first card of Tarot, number one. Aries is number one in the Zodiac. Um, and then we have the Ten of Pentacles. So yeah, definitely, I mean, this would be, I don't know if I feel this one. This would be a, a financial stability, like financial success, where the Ten of Cups is emotional fulfillment. This is fulfillment in a tangible way, like resources, money, um, valuables. What's, what is valuable to you? It can also represent a family. There could definitely be children or a child involved. I always say that because there's like a, a grandmother. You may be the, the child to the grandmother, or like you might not be the adult in this scenario. You may be somebody else's grandchild, and, and that's because we do have the Empress here, and this can be somebody that can be very helpful to you at this time. If you watch part one, um, an older, wiser, more experienced individual. So you may be reaching out to a grandmother or grandfather or somebody that you think of them like that. We have loss here with the Five of Cups and the Magician. I feel like for some of you, you manifested this through that Nine of Swords, or you are trying to take that feeling of loss, guilt, shame, um, grief, specifically over something that happened in the past, because that's a card of the past, and you're trying to manifest
you're trying to bring this into fruition, the Six of Wands, which is victory and success. So you're using your ability to connect um, spiritual and, and, or spirit and earth thought versus um, action, creation. I feel like it's about manifesting though, honestly. Now the more I look at this card, it's it's like what you think you create. And that can go in the good, in the positive, or in the negative. So if you think this nine of swords, which we went over in part one, and I'll briefly go over here, if you think negatively, that's the outcome you get, which goes very much in line with what, what came out here. This Five of Cups is being stuck in the past, grieving it, not allowing yourself to heal and move forward. It's just kind of being stuck there. Um, then we have the Emperor in Judgment. Now this Judgment can be a soul calling. This is very masculine. I'm getting very masculine. I don't know if I'm talking to a guy here or a female that's very, like, strong personality, assertive, dominant, kind of taking, you know, absolute command over a situation. Not that women can't do that. It's just, it's that more masculine kind of energy. Uh, but the ember and judgment could be a soul calling, like spiritual um, ascension, spiritual. Uh, that's, that's actually cool. It's like dead bodies that are slowly as they rise, they're they're becoming whole. You're being like risen out of this dark place. At some points, you get really, you feel freer. But at the same time, I do still like that Nine of Swords is very strong. Otherwise, it wouldn't have shown up here. And the Seven of Swords. I mean, this could talk about strategy and trying to um, establish a, like a game plan. Um, it's you doing that. It's it's you trying to strategize something, but it's also a card of deception. I almost want to clarify that. These other ones that popped out, it's a little too much information to go. I mean, this feels good to me. Um, this one's is kind of weak, and these two are just like in the middle. They're they're very, I mean they're they're major arcana, so it's not like they they don't mean anything. It's just emperor. There's something you want to create that's that's got. Um, what is that? What it's got? Not just it's not just longevity in mind. It's it's it's. I guess it would be like a legacy kind of thing. You want to you want to create a legacy for yourself, and that goes in line with the Ten of Pentacles, because that can be familial legacy. It's like being related to someone that was famous in history. Martin Luther King, or I don't know, Samuel. Did I almost seriously say Samuel L. Jackson? Uh, that's not the Samuel I'm trying to think of. Shush and shuffle. Seven of Swords, please. Why is that here? Seven of Swords. This could be self deception. That's kind of what I'm feeling self deception. Maybe it's just listening to the lies you tell yourself about yourself. Because we did have that Nine of Swords. Why is the Seven of Swords here for Scorpio's current energy situation? One. Two. Nothing going to pop out, huh? Ace of Wands. Okay, some of you may be hiding the fact that you have a new opportunity. You're not saying anything to anyone right now. 
could be something that you're very passionate about, or it could be like having a physical connection to somebody. Ace of Wands isn't always one of those things that is solid as much as like uh, Ace of Pentacles. So this might be like a very, like a fling, if it's related to that. It could be just a creative or a passionate, new, exciting potential for something. A new job offer. Um, could be anything. Knight of Wands. So it could definitely be. Uh, careful of their motives or your own motives. Careful of your own motives. If it's related to a connection with somebody. I only say that because the Knight of Wands is known to be inconsistent, very passionate, very fun, very exciting, um, very magnetic and charming and, you know, adventurous, but also quick to lose interest in the sense that everything catches their interest. With the Seven of Swords, that can talk about dishonesty. I mean, but for some of you, that's just like keeping it under wraps that you've got something that you're going after here. Well, that's, we do have the Six of Wands, so that would be the beginning um, to reaching some type of personal uh, level of a success, what, what you consider to be successful. Some people think that or feel like getting out of bed <laughs> and functioning as a human being is success. Not to say that it's not. If they're in a bad enough mental place, that's probably quite heroic for them. Other people, they won't have anything less than like athlete-style fame and fortune. It's just your own personal uh, opinion of it, perspective of it. So yeah, either you're, you're, you've got a new opportunity here, whether that's like a relationship or a passionate new beginning elsewhere in, in a different area of your life, um, and you're, you're planning and strategizing and trying to come up with a game plan, or others of you. I might have like a little fling on your mind. Making an offer to somebody else. Um, you may be planning how to do that. What do I need to do to make this offer? Others of you, you need to question your own motives and intentions right now because you're coming from a place of hurt. And I did feel with that magician, it's like, There can be a manipulative aspect about the magician. I'm not trying to call anybody out. If this doesn't resonate for you, I give several different storylines for a reason. I see more than one, so I name more than one. Somebody out there might be resonating with the things that don't resonate for you. So don't think I'm calling anybody out. Um, Some of you may be wanting to reconnect with somebody, especially if it is that Queen of Wands. Or you want to start fresh, but at the same time, it's right now and it's a low level physical. Physical, the spark can either flame up and die, or it can be the beginning of something that lasts, you know, that's, that, that just sits there and I mean, uh, smolders, I feel like smolders is something that's like dying. There's a steady flow, okay? It can go either way with the Ace of Wands. So if this is a new fling, be careful of your intentions. If it's something that you want because you want this person, you are trying to strategize a way how to make that offer. Others of you have received that offer, and I don't think you're real sure about how you feel about it. Maybe you question it. 
I don't, that doesn't feel right though. It doesn't feel strong at all. So I'm going to move on. For the most part, um, you've left a situation or somebody has left to you. I feel like it's you left them or it might have been a mutual kind of thing that feels, no, uh, I can't say that feels stronger. It feels about average. Hopefully I'm not putting anything I'm not supposed to. No, okay. So you've left a situation. You're trying to get back your mojo. You're trying to apply yourself in creative projects. I um, think you're in your feels right now. And you may be kind of deceptive, self-deceptive to the sense that like, I don't want to focus on that. So I'm going to put all my attention and, and focus and uh, intention towards the Six of Wands. Um, but the truth of the matter is this is pretty powerful. Otherwise that wouldn't be here, but let's move on to your surface mind. Okay. We have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius here. Signs not as important as energy. Some of you want to rush towards a victory. Some, some of you may be wanting to communicate something in a very... Um, like maybe bluntly honest way. It may be kind of sharp though. Because the Knight of Swords can come across quite abrasive. His intentions are usually good. Uh, Knight of Swords can be an argumentative. We'll just have to clarify. One more with the Knight of Swords. Nope. The Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands. For Scorpio's surface mind, this is what you're focused on, what you want out of the situation. One more, the Knight of Swords and the Six of Wands, please. One. Two. kind of ugly. I don't like the way that I'm going to do it. I'm going to look at it, but I'm going to shuffle one more time. King of Wands. Again, that some of you are wanting to rush towards a fire sign or a fire sign-like individual. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. That's Why was that a struggle for me? Or you're wanting to take action on something. Some of you do really want to be in the spotlight. You want to be famous. You want to be um, congratulated. You want to be seen as worthy. You want that kind of validation. Okay, there we go. Another, yeah, it seems to be the same thing. One... I've got to do that every time, otherwise it just doesn't shuffle right too. And that's why I don't use these very often. I love them, love them, love them. Queen of Cups, you're equal. Nine of Pentacles. We did have the King of Wands and the Page of Wands. So yeah, some of you, you, you want to be seen, whether that's in a big way or a little way, you want to be recognized within your social circle, your, your relationship, your family, others of you, the world, or a large portion of the world, you want to be seen and you want to be recognized. Um, some of you crave uh, attention or validation of some kind, or there's, there's something that you want a victory on. We do still have this page of wands, similar to the ace of wands. This can be a child. This can be a message. This can be an offer, either made or received. We're going to clarify. I haven't asked yet, but what are you? Ten of cups. Yeah, the ten of cups and the six of wands is hand in hand. Emotional happiness comes with six of wands. Some of you are... <sighs> 
I won't say it till I see it, but some of you may be kind of obsessed with or mm, overly focused on this. And I think it's kind of a diversionary thing. Like, if the world sees me and congratulates me on how great I am, then this doesn't matter and this breakup doesn't matter. And that person that left me or that I had to leave behind, none of it matters because the world will see how great I am. It's not like any, I don't feel an ego thing as much as a cover up the pain. Others of you, you do just really want a victory. Why? I'm going to put that back. That's a twist of fate. A cycle. Why the, why the Knight of Swords? Why the Knight of Swords, please, for this Scorpio surface mind? What does this represent? Okay, one. Two. And three. Two of Cups. Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Some of you struggle between pride and the desire to heal something, to mediate something, to moderate something, to bring something back into balance. Others of you, this is wanting to rush in and create harmony within a situation. That is your wish. It would bring you a great sense of victory to come into this, uh, come towards somebody and offer. You want to come in quick. You want to communicate something that you feel will bring a situation back into balance. Others of you may feel a sense of pride for the, for the fact that somebody's coming to you to help them uh, settle something. Settle an argument, settle a disagreement, settle a, a dispute of some type, settle um, an imbalance, an unjust injustice. Why the Page of Wands here? Why the Page of Wands? What is this? Page of Wands, please. Repre uh, please clarify the Page of Wands for this surface minus Scorpio. Nothing's coming out. One. I'm not taking those. Those just fell. Two. And. Three. Six of cups. Definitely could represent a child or children. Definitely could. <laughs> but it also could be making an offer to take a leap of faith. Um, start over. We did have that judgment card. Temperance can sometimes be reconciliation. <sighs> kind of feels more and more like there's a queen of wands type person that you want to have a victory with, that you want to have a family with, that you want to have a happy ending with. Others of you, it has nothing to do with a person. It's just taking a risk towards this victory. Some of you feel like the way you go about it is by being single. So for those of you that might say, oh, I, I don't want my ex back, or I don't want a relationship, there you go. Some of you, your sense of victory is coming into that empress, because the Nine of Pentacles is working towards the empress. That's what that card is. It is the minor arcana to the empress, literally. So here, you want to follow the advice that Spirit is giving you. That's that's your desire. Nine of Pentacles, abundant, stable, financially independent, confident. Knows their worth, won't settle for anything but, or less. They won't settle. They do, they do not settle. And you want to start a brand new beginning something that you feel would bring you some type of recognition or a win.
I get quiet, I'm just looking over the cards. Oh, we have Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, um, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aries, Pisces. There's a wish fulfillment here with the Nine of Cups, which leads to the Ten. I mean, that's the card right before, which I feel this right here is connected to that. For some of you, it is um, having a, a steady or sturdy or significantly dependable source of income or career. That's the King of Pentacles, and but that's also the Nine of Pentacles. That's somebody who can is self sufficient, can take care of themselves, especially financially. All right, so that's what's on your surface mind. I gave a couple of different examples there. Some of you do have somebody that you want to reconcile with. It would be a risk. But it would bring you great pleasure to be the one to come in and alleviate or mediate or bring harmony back into a situation. I only say that because you had judgment show up. Um, we've got some cards about the past and others of you a brand new beginning. That's what the fool is. And so the page of wands too can represent something new. So some of you, it's both. Some of you, some a part of you wants to charge back and heal a situation, but there's another part of you that wants to make an offer. It could be that somebody's made an offer to you, and you kind of want to remain single. Oh, there's a different story. Huh. <gasps> Okay, I just got a different story. This is probably a very specific, maybe for one person only. Some of you want to win a victory because you feel like this person is going to make this offer to you. And you're going to have um, a fun time turning them down. telling them off. I don't think you're going to reach out to do this. I think you're waiting for this individual to make the move just so you can tear the rug out from under them and be like, nope, you didn't notice my greatness before. You didn't know that I was winning. You didn't see that I was a winner. You didn't see me like I see myself. You made me think for a second that I wasn't anything uh, like I truly am, like I was less than. That's for some of you, because we do have that nine of swords. This person, this this that was that you left with the six and that ended with the tower, that's for the ones that something did end. Um, it, it, it left a lot of um, damage as far as mentally, uh, like mentally hindering you whether it was just anxiety about it or it was self-doubts it affected you in a big way so what you want out of the situation what you're focused on is get, getting your power back getting your confidence back getting your shine um let's move these a little bit so we can move on Oh, I guess I should put that up. All right, so hidden truth. Something you do not know that may. Wow, okay. Lovers. Lovers waiting for a connection. There could be a long distance connection here with the three of wands. Waiting for a connection. Waiting for a soulmate, waiting for your soulmate. Gemini energy there with the lovers. One more with the lovers and the three of wands for Shadow Mind for Scorpio. What is it they do not know that would benefit them to know, acknowledge, see, or understand? 
What is the truth here? The hidden truth for the sign of Scorpio. One more with the lovers and the three of wands. One. Three, five cups still at the bottom. Let's see, it's too many, but I'll look. Oh, oh, some of you, some of you, some of you, be careful of escapism. However, you tend to deal with hardship, struggle. Be careful that you don't use or abuse pills, drugs, drink, overeating, shopping, whatever it is you do to self-soothe, self, do I say self, self-soothe, or get through. Oh, that's 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 pretty strong. I didn't think I was going to take that, but for some of you, that's a huge message here. Be very, very careful of your tendencies. Uh, not everybody's going to have this, obviously, so this could be a very specific message like that that last one that I got for up here. Some of you have a tendency to try to escape reality through some type of vice or addiction. There's a huge warning here to not allow yourself to do that. You've got the Ten of Swords here. That is complete and utter defeat. That's the opposite of what you're focused on here. This could even talk about a situation, a third party situation of getting involved with a situation where there's more than one person or more than two people, excuse me. But it's also got that feeling of I'm going to escape what I feel or what I'm thinking and I'm going to do something silly. I did kind of get that energy a little bit with that Seven of Swords and the Ace of Wands. It was like you know, uh, <laughs> like leaving a leaving a relationship and immediately jumping into a sexual connection just to not feel. There's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes in your pain and your and your um, desire to get away from that feeling, other people can be hurt. But this is more like you may escape what you feel. I don't know if you can see that devil. You may escape what you feel for the moment. But the result is this ten of swords. And that is defeat. That is a, a heavy, difficult ending. It could represent, you know, Mental health taking a dive, like depression. <sighs> please, please don't. If you have suicidal thoughts, trigger warning, I guess. Please reach out to somebody, a hotline, um, a clinic, uh, a friend, a family member, somebody that you love and trust, and it can talk you through this. Because that, that's another message there, too. It's like... All right, so... I don't know what card I actually had at the end of that. I got so caught up in that story. Sorry. That was lucky. I'm not taking that. That's too many. Six of want or six. Good grief. Three of Wands and the Lovers, please. Three of Wands and the Lovers for Scorpio Shadow Mind. One. Two. 
to. I wish I'd pulled that card off the top, but six of cups. Yeah, some of you, this is with a past person. There are happy memories here. It is with uh, somebody that you considered a soulmate, or at least a very faded divine connection. It wasn't just a fling. Um, others of you, there is a decision that needs to be made. With the Three of Wands, that would say you're not taking action on it, and you are kind of daydreaming about things. You're not really being realistic. You're not being. You're not taking action. You're just waiting. Uh, that's a very small message. The main message I'm getting here is that there could be a long distance connect connection, or even if it's not like they live on a different part of the continent or on a different continent entirely, it could be an emotional distance. Because sometimes we have a physical distance, other times we have the kind of d distance that can't be gapped even when you're in the same room. Um, and some of you are just kind of waiting, waiting it out. You're not taking any action on it. You feel confident maybe that they'll move towards you or that they'll, there will be a day where it would be possible to take action towards this person because you, you feel there was, there, there are good memories here with the six of cups. This is about the past and nostalgia. Um, you can't talk about childhood happy memories as a child. Um, but it does feel like something you shared with whoever this is, is you are connected with and the lovers. It can just represent a choice, head over heart decision. But there is an element of distance here too, though. Or maybe not physical, just I mean <sighs> the cards that match did not come out on the board. What that means is with the King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, you're both king and queen, but you're different suits. It's like there's a difference a substantial, significant difference between the two of you, and that might be the distance because of the difference. Like how you approach love, how you approach work, how you approach raising a family, how you, like your religious, political, uh, societal view or perspective may be different. That's That's what I'm feeling there. Also, is this is not conducive to what you're wanting up here to achieve. I feel like what you don't know is waiting and thinking and remembering and um, like almost looking at things through rose-colored glasses, looking at the past and seeing all the good there. You're like, you're standing in one place and you're waiting. That's not how you achieve this victory. It's like your head's here, but your heart's here, if that makes sense. And it's keeping you locked in. To something that isn't even relevant to your now. It may be very relevant to you and to like your emotional um, health, I guess, but it's not conducive to like this needs action. It needs decisive action. It needs you to take charge and take hold and move it forward. This is just sitting back and like, you know looking at old pictures and reading <laughs> texts and kind of like reminiscing, I guess. Like a very reminiscent energy. Others of you, it's just waiting, 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 waiting for something, connection. 
a choice to be made clear, but there's there's something it it, it feels like soulmate energy here, honestly, more than anything else. Like the lovers and the six of cups can be a soulmate energy. Soulmates are not always romantic, but that Queen of Wands just keeps popping up. Fire sign energy. Others of you, there's another message. There could be somebody at a distance, but also from your past that you should connect with or you're thinking about connecting with, but it's saying with it being what you don't know, it, it might be very prudent for you to connect with this person. They may have some good um, advice or guidance or... Um, a different way of looking at it so that you can see it clearly. Because I did get that with the Empress the first time I went on part one. I did get that energy. Yeah, they could they could present an opportunity with that Ace of Pentacles. Let me move on though. We're going to be here. <sighs> Definitely for some of you there is a soulmate though at a distance to you. I think you would know because of that Six of Cups. There's history there. So Nine of Swords. Again, the phys it doesn't have to be a physical difference. It can be just a distance and emotional distance um, or distance in the sense that there's such a huge difference. It creates a gap in how we connect with one another. Let's see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I'll do one more. Star. Yeah, this definitely feels like dreams. This is something from the past that is still currently uh, affecting or influencing your present energy and situation. One more with the star and the nine of swords, please. It is creating some type of challenge, obstacle, blockage. One with the star and the nine of pentacles, please. For Scorpio's recent past. We have Aquarius energy with the star. One. Two. Three. Temperance again, Sagittarius. Five of Wands, yeah, there may have been some type of conflict or you are internally conflicted. <sighs> but it was something that brought in a lot of conflict, a lot of drama, a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. I think it came to a head and somebody finally decided to leave the situation. I think you're trying to tell yourself that it's it's not anything, it's nothing, you're fine, everything's fine. You may even be trying to like Put your, put your mind on like projects and ideas and um, visions of like what you could do, or you are trying to alleviate that pain and all that by basically um, physical no no emotional contact, physical contact, basically, one night stands and stuff like that. Um, that's kind of surprising. We have another card with black and white. You see the past in black and white. There's stuff about dreaming, though, too. Um, like I said in part one, some of you guys have a, a very erratic sleep cycle, and, and some of you may be having very vivid uh, bad dreams, scary dreams, dreams that make you wake up and you don't feel well rested after. Um, stress, anxiety, with that nine of swords, possibly, like I said, sleepless nights. Uh, to the extreme, it can get as bad as starting to affect your men or your uh, emotional and physical health. The Five of Wands can be a card of about conflict, 
fighting, petty bickering back and forth. It can be internal conflict, not being sure. Um, it can be a lot of distractions, a lot of things going on. Hard to focus. There's there's one that's coming in. Hard to focus. Hard to pinpoint one single thought at a time. It's all just er erratic. There's a frenetic kind of energy here with these two cards. With the star card, that's another card that made me feel like dreams. Like you're trying to heal a situation, heal yourself especially, but it's very difficult with this going on in your head. But there was also a, some, some type of wish back here. It was thwarted by that Nine of Swords and the Five of Wands. Whether that was internal conflict and the fights you had with yourself in your head, um, the power you gave to your self-doubt that caused it, or it was a combination of worry, fear, anxiety, stress, and little like spats, fights, drama, gossip, maybe something that you had to compete for. There was a competitive, you're in a competitive field and it's just very stressful, but there was some type of wish. It's just muted by all this energy. It took up your attention, took up your focus. I think you lost sight of the star. You lost sight of the wish, the ultimate wish. It got, it got drowned out. You forgot. You let yourself forget your priorities. And now with this up here, it's like you're getting back on track. But you're still being affected by this. This is not something that has gone away. This is still here. You're still being influenced by this. It's possibly that you're stuck in this past and you get caught up in thoughts of the good times and, and when things were simple and that Six of Cups energy. But then it that brings in the doubts and the fears and the worry and the struggle to fall asleep or stay asleep. And so it enters into your current energy situation. It's like a cycle. You try to um, self-medicate or you try to uh, distract yourself. But then you get, you see what I'm saying? Like, it's a, it's a cycle. I'm going to move on. This seems pretty straightforward. Uh, for some of you, a strong message here, too, is you're watering, you're, you're nurturing the wrong things here. You are, if you could grow a tree of swords... I want to show this to you, and I doubt you'll be able to see it, but her hair, wait, is it her hair? I guess not. I guess I thought it was her hair. Might be. This right here is a tree, and all these swords are sticking out. If you could grow a sword tree, where swords are the mind, and nine of swords would be anxiety, that's what you're watering. You're giving them power. You are watering this tree of anxiety. It's almost like a Dr. Seuss rhyme. Watering the tree of anxiety. That should be a slogan. Take Xanakil now. Kill your bad dreams. All right, so. Okay. Queen of Wands can be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Doesn't have to be. See more hesitation. More hesitation that I saw. Where was it? Well, other than this one where you're not acting, you're just thinking, reminiscing, waiting. There's a desire to rush in. Seven 
One more with the seven of wands and the queen. Seven of pentacles. One more with the seven. Oh, you know what? I'm changing. I'm sorry. Those are just too big. And they're actually making my thumb hurt for some reason. One more with the seven of pentacles and the queen of wands for what's the most important influential thing coming towards Scorpio. What is the most important influential thing with the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands that they would want or need to know about? Please, one more with the Seven of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands. What's coming towards Scorpio here, please? One. Two. Three. King of or Knight of Cups, same card that came out earlier. I put it up. Knight of Cups. So you do, you do. What the? Do you want to make an, an emotional offer? Reach out, or somebody wants to reach out to you to make an emotional offer. Could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. We got Taurus energy here. You're debating, though. You're assessing what that seven of pentacles or this person is. If you're waiting for a person to act, take action towards you, they are assessing the situation if they want to invest in it, if they want to commit to it with that high priestess. Why do I say high priestess? Hierophant. They're trying to decide if it's a good investment because they understand this could very well be a long-term commitment, something that they are obligated for or to towards. For more, it's not it's not a simple in and out thing. Or you are doing this yourself. You're trying to establish whether or not you want to invest in this. Your time, your energy, your resources. Clarify that Queen of Wands for me, please. Who or what is this Queen of Wands represent? Okay. Ace of Swords. Okay, so somebody, this Queen of Wands, I went over her in part one. Um, maybe wanting to bring some clarity to the situation, or you may want to reach out to this person and have some type of communication. And since this is what's coming towards you, I do believe that it's this person that wants to convey something, communicate something, bring, bring a truth, bring you a truth. But there's a commitment or a duty. It could be a, a boss figure because we the, the queen of wands could be like a superior. Let's see. What was that one that just flipped? Queen of Cups. So this could be a water sign. This could be you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Anything else you can give me? Like, what is what is this communication? What else is, can you tell me about what's coming towards Scorpio, please? One. There's something restrictive about this, too. It's like nobody's willing to budge. Three of Wands. Yeah, you're waiting for this person to come towards you and communicate something. Justice to balance out the situation for a fair outcome. It could be some of you are dealing with the court system or legal. Um legal uh, matters. It could very well be um, maybe something to do with work, a career that you have, your, maybe a debt, maybe a debt owed, like financial, um, like a lawsuit dealing with getting a, a sum of money. for a wrong that you felt was done or something that was actually done. Others of you just 
you want a, you want a fair outcome in the situation. You don't feel like it's fair because you're wanting the truth from this person. You're wanting them to come forward with truth or at least provide you some type of clarity or closure. This person either left you wondering, left you looking back at it and wondering, like, why did I put so much time and energy into this? Or why did they stop? Tell me. Queen of Swords. Yeah, somebody may have cut you off or you cut someone off. But I feel like somebody cut you off with that Queen of, or that, uh, Ace of Swords. I feel like this Queen of Wands person. I think there was a commitment there. Or you want there to be. You really want there to be. But this person is either not um, receptive to it. Or they're not acting that way. They're not giving you clarity about how they feel about it. Or you do, you do have a connection. You've had a past connection. And they walked away, leaving you feeling like an injustice was done. And you're looking at the situation now and, and, and thinking of all the time that went into this. One. Why is the Taurus or why, why, why is the Hierophant here? Clarify that Hierophant for me, please. One. If this is job related for some of you, two. You're waiting on word back from an institution, um, a, a, an agency. Yeah, some of you, this was a commitment that, or uh, a contract. Whether that's like a legal binding, an actual like marriage, uh, a promise, a vow, somebody walked away. Somebody felt like they were left out in the cold. And they want clarity over the situation. They want to understand. They want this person to illuminate. Otherwise, again, like it could be job related, it could be um, an institution. Uh, Maybe like you're waiting on a bank loan to come through. You're waiting on like processing, something to be processed. Um, for many of you, I feel like this is, this is something that's coming towards you. Um, Some of you actually might have made this person feel this way. And they're coming in to tell you exactly how they feel or what they think, at least their perception of this. Some of you left them feeling like you neglected them in some way, abandoned them in some way. Even if they were the ones to walk away, some of you are going to find out the truth of their truth. Whether they left or you left. Um, again, this could play in so many different ways. If you're not in a relationship, haven't been in one, this could be, uh, I mean, tech, I mean, this could be f finding out why you got fired or getting fired and I don't feel like this is so much. I feel like this is the energy that, yes, can come with it, but I don't feel like it's a primary. I think it's like an after effect. There is something restrictive about these energies with the Justice, the Ace of Swords, and the Hierophant. It feels like whatever this communication is that comes in, it's like it kind of takes the ball out of your court. It's like I can't do anything about their decision they made. 
I can only assess it and evaluate it and try to figure out what went wrong with that seven of pentacles. And she's looking at her cup like she's evaluating it. This may be like getting some type of um, feedback or uh, a communication that basically like <sighs> it makes you reevaluate something. Maybe a direction you want to go. Maybe something that you really desired and then it's almost like you hit a wall and you have to, you know, you have to find a way around this. There's still a way through it, but at the same time, it's, it's defeating. There's a def defeating energy about this because I feel like you feel like the choice is taken from you. Not that it's a no, it's just like you don't have, maybe that's why this, this outcome is here with the eight of swords. Somebody makes a choice for you or makes a choice that kind of prevents you from taking any action on it. It's kind of like you, let's say, somebody says, I'm going to serve you papers, divorce papers. And you can't talk them out of it. They've made their decision. You can't not sign because eventually, I mean, you have to release this person. It's like coming to terms with it. Being forced to finally come to terms with the truth. That's what that feels like. Coming to terms with the truth. And I feel like it comes, it, it goes totally against what you're hoping and this hidden message down here. It's like, I think you're going to second guess yourself at some point and realize, or, or at least you're going to blame yourself for not acting on it. Because you want to, you want to act towards it. But I get this energy of you not, you're just waiting, you're feeling it out, you're kind of like daydreaming about what could happen. You're also afraid and, and, and that nine of swords, you're not your highest function because you're scared, you're worried, you're stressed, you're sleep, you're sleep, uh, not sleeping. I'm going to say sleeplessness, but that doesn't sound right. And there is a side story there too of somebody communicating something and you trying to figure out if you even want to put your energy into it. But for the most part, I feel like this is like a, a decision that's made, communicated to you, and kind of just like you can't really, you just got to accept it. All right, so advice. Empress, Page of Wands. Okay, yeah, so take action. Even if it's just small, even if it's a, you know, small. Look at that. Ace of Cups just came out. You've got to take action on this. Page of Wands and Empress, please. What, is, what are your messages of clarity, wisdom, justice, clarity, wisdom, guidance, and advice for the sign of Scorpio? What do you need them to hear at this time? What is your messages of advice, wisdom, guidance, clarity? What would you like to say to Scorpio at this time, please, with the Page of Wands and the Empress? One. Two. Three. Nine of Pentacles. Wow, we had that up here. What is it you want them to take action on with that page of wands? Basically, for a lot of you, this is literally like boss up. Be the bad bee you know you are and boss the hell up. 
start taking better care of yourself because the, the Nine of Pentacles can be health related, like eating better, exercising. Um, if there's like this, if there's something you could do as far as like go to therapy or like talk to your doctor about this back here and see if you can find a way to manage that without, you know, I had that, but the, set of cards that came out that talked about self-medicating or escapism. Taking care of your health, your mental health, your emotional health, your physical health, your physical body at this time is important, but also take on that Empress energy where you have confidence and faith in yourself because you have every reason to. If you are this Empress, then you don't need this. This is defeating, self-defeating, self-fulfilling prophecy. This is allowing your, your mental state, which will affect your emotional, but it's allowing that to take control, allowing you to be powerless, allowing this outcome, which we'll get into, and we covered in part one taking action. Some of the, you, this literally is advising um, if there's something that you want, especially a person, um, maybe some of you want advice from this empress. Like in part one, I said, you know, the empress can be somebody that is your superior or a mother or a mother type figure, a mother archetype, um, just somebody wiser, older, more experienced maybe more um, um, I keep the word is right there and then it just poof, and then it comes back and then poof, it's like a, more successful good grief look at that Let's say successful on the six of wands got a victory and success um yeah, taking taking an action towards that either or that person. If you have somebody that you think is your empress, which we did see in the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands, and I mean, hell, even the Queen of Wands that kept that showed up twice. That is not somebody that sits idly by and waits for things to come to her. She, he. They do not do that. King, queen, knight, even the page of wands. They do not like sit around and wait for the grass to grow. They, they're not going to sit there and watch a pot boil. They're, they're going to go, you know, make a salad, uh, build a garden, tear a tree down, fix their car, and produce... Uh, an Emmy nominated. Let's let's hush. Page of Wands, please. What do you want them to take action on? One, one. Quiet, still. Two. Quiet, quiet. The internal conflict. And three. Take charge of a situation. Prioritize. You need to prioritize all these things that are that you're wanting to. That you, you might even be like scattered energy here. Like you may have be dabbling in all different kinds of things. It's saying prioritize. Pick one or two. And perfect those. Stop. Stop. Um. Giving so much of your energy, because you're depleting yourself faster than you can replenish. And that is that Nine of Pentacles. That is somebody in almost perfect form. The Empress is perfect form. This is somebody who works up to the Empress. Some of you at this time may need to be single as well. You may need to cut out all this uh, competitive, like you might be getting a lot of attention right now because you're single and you're hot. Um, and that needs you to prioritize what's important to you now. Is it physical relationships? Is it 
um, getting the adoration and the um, you know all the all the attention that really doesn't amount to anything, or is it being solid, being abundant? You know, this the Empress. If you're wanting to start a new business, that that's what the Empress is. They have an established business. They are an entrepreneur. They are a business owner. They are successful and abundant and creative and expansive. Everything they touch, it grows and grows and grows and grows. And I never put that Ten of Pentacles back. Ace of Wands keeps showing up. A brand new opportunity. Okay, so she nurtures. Remember how I said you're nurturing the sword tree of misery? Nurture something else that is healthy for you. Nurture sustainability. Nurture financial um, freedom. Nurture your self-confidence. It's all, it's all confidence right here. It's a little silly here. Like, I mean, who wears a feather in their cap and thinks it's cool? This guy, because he doesn't care what anybody else thinks. Yeah, so the Eight of Swords is your probable outcome. Probable outcome because I can't give you definitive. A, this is a general reading. B, you have free will. Your actions, your decisions, your inaction, your indecision can change, alter um, the course of events that lead to the outcome. If you do not like the outcome, you have tarot to guide you and give you advice. But never make, never ever make major life decisions based on a tarot reading in general or especially one that's not personalized to you. You should always follow your own instincts, your own logic. You know what's best for you above all else. You might follow along the way, but please clarify. Page Cups and the Nine of Swords for the most probable outcome here for the sign of Scorpio. If they continue on their current trajectory, what is the most probable outcome with the Page of Cups and the Eight of Swords? One. Two. Three. Ace of Cups on the bottom. Oh my God, look at that. I said it kept coming out. There it is again with the Ace of Cups. So you have an opportunity here, possibly more than one, a new direction, a new potential for something different, something new, something exciting, something passionate, something that inspires you, lights your fire. However, you have the Eight of Swords, which is a mental block. It is feeling trapped. It is feeling stuck. It is feeling powerless, lost, confused, incapable of moving forward. It is a self-imposed prison because, once again, you put your time and energy into growing the wrong things. In this case, it is those self-doubts. Those things that you tell yourself that you can't, you shouldn't, you won't, how could I, can I, should I, will I, that's giving it too much power and you end up trapping yourself. Page of Cups, please. Page of Cups. What is this Page of Cups? For most probable outcome. This could be inertia, like losing the courage to make an offer. One, two, an emotional, and three, hangman, yeah, stagnation. 
Page of Swords. <sighs> Overthinking something. Somebody else's message to you. Or making, taking some type of action towards another person. You end up not doing it. Because you're stuck in your head. And you also miss a new beginning. I don't know if these two are related, but it could be two things. You could have an op uh, an opportunity here to either open up to another person or another person opens up to you, but you're so stuck in your head, you don't recognize it or you don't acknowledge it. You don't notice it. Ace of Wands. Please clarify that Ace of Wands. Please clarify that Ace of Wands for the probable outcome here for the sign of Scorpio. One, two, okay, world, yeah, start a new chapter, close out an old one, start a new one, possibly start an old one, but in a new way, in a brand new way. But I kind of feel like this is starting all over. And this is a card of freedom. If you see her, she's nude. I mean, she feels self-confident enough to be fully vulnerable. And you are not vulnerable. You're not allowing yourself to be vulnerable at this time. There's some type of communication right here. Especially emotional in nature it can be a little bit childlike or childish or immature or just not well thought out it's just kind of like like in in grade school when you you're too scared to ask your your crush out so you pass a note to one of your friends and have them it's kind of like that so if that's you wanting to do that to someone or somebody's doing that to you kind of like Hi, I think you're cute, and I was wondering, that kind of thing, instead of a confident, like, so would you like to go get coffee with me? Or, I don't know. You want to go blow up a bridge with me? Whatever you do for fun. I do not condone blowing up bridges, by the way. Please don't. I'm just trying to be funny, but I'm tired, so. Anyway. This is missing an opportunity because your head gets in the way. This Nine of Swords back here shows up here, and it's kind of like... She has a blindfold on, so she doesn't see either or. She doesn't see this communication, and she doesn't see this. I only say she because it's a she... Ignore the gender pronoun, please. Your head gets in your way. I see so much potential here. So much, mm, so much energy. The king of cups here and that six of wands is just this like maelstrom of just creative energy and, and force and... Uh, It wants so badly to just explode and bloom and, and be. And yet, this back here, I mean, it's so small, but it's it's given so much power. This is like little stuff. This is, your head is making it big. And so you try to escape it. That's the main story. Now, keep in mind the other stuff that I said, other interpretations... Those also, but I'm going with the biggest and the strongest here. For a lot of you, you are trying to escape. And either that's through thinking about the past, kind of like um, fantasizing or uh, over-romanticizing it, like not, not looking at the bad things and only saying like, oh, it was so great, we were so good together, blah, 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 blah. Um, some of you, this is brand new. It's got nothing to do with the past. 
And I gave I gave examples for that. What it comes down to is your personal sense of emotional fulfillment. But what is in the way of that is all of this. And you're allowing it to grow. You are giving it power. You're not putting it here. What's coming towards you is going to make you feel just that more powerless. Because I don't think it's a decision or a communication that you can do much with. Some of you, you may have to, uh, it might be an offer, but I don't think it comes in the way you want it to. So you have to evaluate it and think if you want to, if you want to invest in it. Because it doesn't, it's not colored like this. This is very kind of a seductive, um, there's a nostalgia about it, like a sweet and, and childlike kind of, it's almost like one of those rom-com or romance movies where you know that, you know, these actors are paid to really have great chemistry, but it's not real. That's what this feels like. Not that your connection isn't real or wouldn't be real. It's just like it's it's put in a context that it's probably not sustainable. Maybe seeing a person in, like, putting somebody on a pedestal or putting this relationship on this like expectation that it can't it can't ever reach because it's i hope i'm making sense there's something about this that is it's almost like you're you're waiting for something that doesn't really exist in the real world there's reality and then there's um fantasy and this feels more in the realm of fantasy. And that's where you're at. You're in the realm of thinking about creating something. All these ideas, all these um, <sighs> plans and, and wants and desires, but not really doing anything about it. You want to, but you just sit back and you wait. You don't take action. So um, that's going to lead to, you know, inaction leads to inaction. Like you can't, you can't wish a ball to roll. You can't start this by wishing it. I have to figure out what I'm going to title this. I think that's your messages, all, all of them that I can I can see right now. Um, if this resonated for you, please leave a like, leave a comment. I'd love to hear your story, your your thoughts. Um, all my information is in the detail box. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it did resonate for at least somebody out there. And I thank you very much for spending this time with me and supporting my channel. Hope to see you guys next time. Have a great night.